So there are 80 people registered for this. So wow. Pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Florida, University of Florida. Yeah. A little further. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully things will be normal then. We can, right. we can just fly down. And, uh, yeah. Although, <coughs> all right. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Southeast Control Conference 2021. My name is Andrea Lafflitto. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering. And like all of you, I do research in control theory with applications to aerial robotics and uh, ground robotics. I'm extremely excited to have you all here uh, and to host this, this event. Uh, it's the second edition of the conference, but it uh, doesn't really feel like so. We have 80 registered people which is outstanding considering the, the difficult times we're in. Uh, it all started uh, in 2019, I guess. Uh, Dr. Wulsi, the co-chair, uh, came back from uh, the Southeast Control Conference 2019 at Georgia Tech, hosted by Dr. Coogan, and uh, he, he was extremely anxious. It's like, we have to do it. We, we, we have, who wants to do it? <laughs> and I have this uh, foul of dog instinct about like me. <laughs> and so I, I didn't know what I was embarking in, but it's been a ex great experience, really, really fun experience. But uh, this would not have been possible without the help of uh, uh, Dr. Wolsey, who's serving as my co chair, Dr. Warren Dixon from the University of Florida, Dr. Ali Karimadini from North Carolina uh, AT, and Dr. Kuban uh, from, uh, from Georgia Tech. Uh, to be a tremendous help. They gave me advice whenever I was uh, 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 desperate for some and um, helped me with many steps of the process. But of course, uh, I like to acknowledge also the, the rest of the committee, primarily made of uh, uh, PhD students, uh, not only from Virginia Tech, but also from Georgia Tech, uh, Julius Marshall, um, uh, Christian Wei, I think she's here today, from, from Georgia Tech, Jody Moy uh, from uh, uh, from Virginia Tech, Rabin, who's not here, uh, Yin Chan, uh, there you go, from, uh, from Virginia Tech, Amit, and there you go, uh, Diksha, Agarwal, and uh, Corbin Klett from Georgia Tech, I believe, is, uh, is not here. They did a fantastic job, um, everything online, actually. We met uh, <laughs> uh, here for the first time, for some of them, and some others see me twice a day because they're my students, I guess. <laughs> All right, so, um, this would not have been possible without uh, our sponsors. Uh, I really need to acknowledge uh, the prompt support of the National Science Foundation through the Dynamics Control and System Diagnostics uh, program. Uh, the, one of the program managers, uh, um, Dr. Doniskaya, has been extremely uh, supportive uh, and uh, uh, we're thankful for, for that help. And uh, Virginia Tech, through um, many departments and units, uh, uh, ICTAS, the Institute for Critical Technology and Applied Science, um, the College of Engineering, uh, they've both been very generous donors, as well as the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering, my own department, Department of Aerospace and Ocean Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, and Electrical and Computer Engineering. Uh, as you all know, because we bombed you with emails, we have uh, an exceptional guest speaker, Dr. Beck, that should be here. Uh, momentarily, she's an associate department head at the Department of Industrial Enterprise and Systems Engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. Uh, she's going to talk about uh, modeling and stability analysis of epidemic processing over networks. Um, extremely honored to have her. She's uh, uh, well experienced and her research is extremely prestigious. And uh, she's uh, from industrial engineering. I decided to make it a point in my career to prove that there can be controls also in, uh, in industrial engineering. Um, we are looking forward to tonight's event. The banquet uh, will be at uh, Eastern Divide uh, Brewing Company. Uh, the address is here, and uh, you can find driving directions on our website. If you go to the travel and lodging uh, uh, page on uh, our website, greatly maintained by our webmasters, uh, you'll, uh, um, uh, you'll get there. We have shuttle service uh, starting at 5.30 from uh, the uh, main entrance, uh, from the front entrance of the hotel, uh, and of course, uh, you, you can park there. Uh, we have free Wi-Fi uh, through the Virginia Tech network uh, or through the in uh, uh, network, so you pick which one you, you like the best. 
Uh, a few words about the presenters. Um, I was extremely uh, pleased by the diversity of the representation we had uh, under many points of view, one of which is uh, the, the universities uh, that decided to send some of the representatives. We have people from Clemson, Duke, uh, George Mason, Georgia Tech, Louisiana State, North Carolina State, uh, University of Kentucky, University of Central Florida, University of Florida, University of North Carolina, and Virginia Tech. It's great. Uh, I think all the universities we reach out to uh, send some some students. Uh, we kind of spam them. Uh, we went to the list of uh, attendees of ACC and CDC in 2019 and 2020 and used uh, 300 something names of faculty from there and reached out to them. Um, no one no complained about <laughs> our mass emails, which was great. Um, I asked everybody to send a final uh, uh, abstract and you posted them on, on the website. And by the way, if you haven't done so yet, please send us your abstract. And uh, I went through the, the list of sponsors uh, that were acknowledged and I was extremely pleased by seeing how many projects have been supported by NSF, Forsar, some by DAPA, ONR, and the Department of Energy. Uh, that was the indicator for me that uh, uh, although this is a regional conference, there's high quality behind it. Uh, there's uh, faculty involved, directly involved, uh, and, uh, and this is great. Um, I have to be very honest, uh, some may, may think that regional conferences are not as valuable, and uh, this experience, I think, proves, uh, uh, pro proves this statement wrong, uh, because um, many of these presentations actually will be showcased at ACC, CDC coming up, so, um, you're gonna see uh, spoilers, I guess, of this uh, of this presentation. Actually, considering the quick time uh, for review uh, we had and the informal proceeding we have, this means that um, uh, you may see results that are even more recent than those uh, that will be presented in ACC CDC since they have almost a one year delay. In uh, with that, uh, I'd like uh, uh, to stop here and leave the floor uh, to you guys. Uh, would you like to say a few words, Craig? Uh, sure. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you all for, for coming. Thanks for, for submitting your abstracts and for expressing interest in participating in this meeting. Uh, thanks especially to Andrea for agreeing. So yes, I came back with this wonderful idea that we should host a conference. Who wants to do that? <laughs> and Andrea uh, kindly stepped up and, and has done a phenomenal job organizing it. Uh, but obviously it wouldn't happen if you weren't here. So thanks to all of you for, uh, for, you know, for, for being interested in coming and meeting some other people from uh, other universities in the region and learning what they're doing and hopefully making some, some lasting connections while you're here. Uh, thanks again to Sam and, and folks at Georgia Tech for, for kicking all of this off a couple of years ago. We hope this grows into something. We hope that you all, uh, well, you won't be students forever, but we hope people will continue to be uh, in, engaged in this conference for years to come. And, um, and yeah, enjoy yourselves. Okay, thank you, Craig. All right, so let's have uh, a, say, a 10 minute break. Uh, there's coffee outside, and we start at 8.30 as uh, planned, okay? Thank you. Thanks, everyone.